Yummy, yummy. Can't wait to eat it. Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking some Spanish savoury rice. So let's begin. Right, so we'll start off by turning the stove on. I'll turn it up to number nine on full heat and I'll add about three, four, four tablespoons of olive oil and I'll wait for that to heat up. Okay, so once the oil is hot or hottish, I'll turn the heat down to medium high and I'll add in my chorizo, which I've queued up, and also some red pepper. No set amount, it's as much or as less as you like. And while that is cooking, I want it to be, I want it to, the peppers to soften up and the chorizo to shed its juice. So I've got my glass of wine here and I've got my saffron. Let's try and open this up. This is a bit fidgety. Right, and I'll grab a few strands and just put it there in the, with the white wine. And, wait a minute, let's give it a stir. And this will go yellow in a few minutes. So by the time that we're, we add it to the rice, it'll be nice and yellowy. So we'll give this a stir every now and then until it's ready and in the meantime what I'll do is give the rice a rinse in here. Well so once this is done I'm going to add in a bay leaf or two. These are tiny ones so we'll add in two or three. They're well small I must buy some more or maybe find a bush somewhere and mix them. Right so the bay leaves are done. Let's move this about and that lovely juice from the chorizo. You can see that colour. Nice isn't it? And da -da -dum, da -da -dum. I'm going to add in about three tablespoons of fried tomato sauce. I'm going to add the salt to my own liking. I'm not going to add a lot because the broth will probably, probably have some. And I'll add in the rice that I've cleaned. And move this there, give it a mix, spread it all about. Sticky the rice when it's wet. And I'm going to add the the wine. See how nice and yellow it is? The wine with the um, saffron. And we'll move this about as well. And these I'm going to this rice I'm going to be eating it today with some fried eggs. What will you be eating it with should you make it? Let me know in the comments. So I'm going to cover this up and leave it there for about five minutes until the alcohol has evaporated from the wine. And the broth that I'm going to be using today 
is this one that has um, meat, I think it's beef, chicken, it's got chickpeas, potatoes, onions, carrots, leeks, and that should be enough. You can use any kind of broth, chicken one would be nice also. Or if you haven't got these, you can use a one of the stock cubes with vegetable flavour or meat, chicken. It's up to you. Right, so let's have a look at this. All right, we're going to leave it there for a few more minutes because you can smell the alcohol still. It's only been there for about three minutes. So I'll leave it there for about two or three more minutes. So the alcohol evaporates. Right. So the broth, the broth, the wine has evaporated. It's smelling really good by the way. So what I'll do, let's just mix it about a little bit. Is um, I'm going to add the peas in. I could add them at the end, but it doesn't matter. And I'll add the the broth. I'll just cover it all with this meat and veg broth. And let's move it about, give it a good mix. And we'll turn it up. I'm going to turn it up to number nine, full whack, until it starts to boil. And then I'll turn it down to medium high. And today I'm going to be cooking it um, without the lid for now. Um, I added just under 75 cl of this. If needed be, I'll add some more later. The rice is still hard and the broth has evaporated. So let's wait for this to bubble up. Well, once this starts to bubble, I'll turn the stove down to number 7, which is medium high, and we'll leave it there to boil for about, I think 15 minutes should should do it, but I'll be checking it every now and then to see how the rice is doing, to see if it's soft. And the broth will evaporate also. So I'll be back. Oh, and while this is cooking, I'm going to have an aperitif. Some of these, and some red wine. Cheers everyone. Okay, so 10 minutes are up and let's have a look at this. I think it's ready. But what I'm going to do is have a salt chick and a hardness chick of the rice. Let's see if it needs any more salt or not. And let's see if this rice is done. I think it is. Mmm. Beautiful. It is ready. Gorgeous. So what I'll do is turn the stove off. I'll cover it up and I'll move it to one side and then I'm going to serve it up on this. Well, let's dish it up then, shall we? And here it is, today's delicious recipe, savoury Spanish rice. Thank you for watching and see you soon.